I'm Christy Beck. I'm one of the lab managers at CVPH, and I'm here to give you a tour of our COVID testing site and hopefully answer some of the more frequently asked questions. So why don't you follow me? So testing here at our COVID site is free, regardless of whether or not you have insurance. Um, and we do not require any ID or insurance cards when you check in. We just need you to most likely have an email address to ensure that you can get your results in a timely manner. So you'll come in through these front doors. You will be greeted by one of our team members here. She'll ask a quick few questions. Um, first is, do you have a doctor's order or are you coming for the state testing? If you're coming for the state testing, um, you'll be given a bioreference requisition and asked to fill out the form. It usually takes about two to three minutes to fill out this form. And um, along with that, you'll get information on how to set up an account so you can retrieve your results through your email account. All right. If you are a healthcare provider in the community or a, um, a person that has a doctor's order, we have a shorter form for you to fill out, but you'll be processed just in the same exact manner. We'll have you while you're filling out your paperwork follow the green dots into our gymnasium. We're making sure that everybody has plenty of um, distance so we can keep social distancing throughout the entire process. Once you enter the gymnasium, another member of our team will ask if you're experiencing symptoms or not. If you are experiencing symptoms, we have you head down this way in the gym just to ensure that we keep our symptomatic patients um, away from other in individuals that are not currently experiencing symptoms. Those that are not currently experiencing symptoms are usually people that are traveling or wanting to visit friends and family in nursing home settings. So if once you're directed down the line, we'll have you continue filling out your paperwork. Once you've filled out your paperwork, another team member will greet you at this table here. At that table, they're going to review your paperwork, make sure everything is filled out appropriately, and um, generate a label with your name and date of birth that will be placed on your sample once we collect it. Then we have you move up the line, again, keeping social distances. We have a large gym here to ensure that we are, everybody is staying uh, at minimum of six feet apart. Once we have a free tent, we'll direct you to that tent where another staff member is going to swab you. All of our staff that are stationed here have all of the appropriate PPE. Everyone is wearing a medical mask, um, gloves, and eye protection at all times. In addition, the swabbers will be wearing isolation gowns and an N95 mask underneath their medical mask to ensure safety for both our staff and the patients coming in. Once you um, are asked to move to the tent, we ask that you come in here. One of our staff will meet you in the tent. You'll notice in the tent we have a HEPA filter with UV option running at all times. You can either stand or sit for swabbing, whichever you feel most comfortable for. The swabbing usually takes about 30 seconds. For adults, we say that the swabbing, if you haven't had it before, feels like you've been swimming and maybe get some fluorine up your nose. It might be a little uncomfortable, but you should experience absolutely no pain whatsoever. Once the swabbing is completed, um, you'll be asked to exit the building through our exit doors there. After you exit the, the tent, we will actually completely sanitize it. We spray everything down in the tent. Um, once over, we let it air dry and then we come back down and wipe it down. So between every patient, we usually spend three to five minutes doing nothing but cleaning the tent for the next person that's gonna come through the line to ensure everybody stays safe through this entire process. We do try to move people through this process um, rapidly. So generally what we're finding is during our high peak times, waits can get up to about 10 minutes, but usually once your paperwork is filled out, the um, wait time to get through is about five minutes or so. So you're not spending a lot of time here. We're moving people through as quickly as possible to reduce as much exposure. However, we have put every precaution in place to ensure not only our staff safety, but your safety as well. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to um, the hospital and we can help you with any of those questions. We're open from nine to two, seven days a week. At the end, everybody is asked to exit through this door so we don't have anybody actually going back across other people waiting to be screened to once again ensure social distancing and reduce any chance of cross-contamination.